It's very common for most advertisers that when they run paid search campaigns on Google, they create a dedicated campaign bidding on their brand name too. So when someone searches for their brand, their ad shows up at the top. In this video, I will discuss if you should run a paid search campaign for your brand and the different ways you can set the bidding strategy for your branded keywords. First, why do larger companies bid on their own brand terms? The simple answer is they don't want users searching for their brand click on their competitor ads. Let's look at this example. As a user, I have searched for Trello, which is a team collaboration software. There are other competitors that are bidding on Trello keyword. And in these search results, Trello official website is not even appearing as the first result. The competitors have tailored their ad copy too. The first one says, Monday.com is so much better. The second one says, top three alternatives. And the last one says, switch to Asana. Now, if Trello is a trademark brand name, competitors are not allowed to use that word in their ad copy. But still, they have written a very smart headline to tell users that they are better than Trello and the user should use their software instead of Trello. At least here, Trello is appearing as the third sponsored ad at the top. If they hadn't bid on their own brand term, their organic link wouldn't even show at the top. You might ask why Trello is not bidding higher so that their ad appears as the first result all the time. Well, I don't work for Trello, so I can only make assumptions. When you are a big brand and there are so many other big and small competitors bidding on your brand terms, the cost per click for your brand keywords will become very high. Especially in this case, it's very likely that some competitors might even bid very high on your brand terms. Why do they do that? Probably because they are getting good results from this. Even if the conversion rate for those competitors bidding on Trello brand keywords might be low, they are seeing a good additional revenue from this keyword. Additional revenue from users that originally were searching for Trello software. Eventually, this conquesting bidding has made the CPC or cost per click very high for Trello that advertisers at Trello company don't find it profitable to bid any higher. So they have to accept that it's okay if they don't appear at the top of search results for their brand keywords as long as they are hitting revenue goals internally. As I said, these are just assumptions and potential reasons based on my experience. Anyway, now you might think that you are not a big company. Maybe you are just a local plumber and your brand is not really well known, that no competitor is interested to bid directly on your brand name due to very low search volume. So, if nobody else is bidding on your brand name, you don't have to spend your budget on bidding on your brand keywords too, correct? My answer is a big no. You still should run ads for your brand name even if you are very small and no one else is directly bidding on your brand keywords. Why? Because of two things. Broad match types and performance max campaign. Okay, our assumption was that you are a small local plumber, remember? Now, what is one of the easiest keywords to target for a plumbing business? Plumber near me. Probably all other advertisers in your area are using that keyword in their search campaign. Now, if they set the match type for their keywords as broad, it would be very likely that when someone searches for the brand name of your small business, the keyword for plumber near me will still capture your brand term and competitors' ad will show up for your brand name. So, in that case, even if competitors are not directly targeting your brand keyword, there is still a very good chance that their campaign will capture your brand name and their ad will show up. 
And if you are a small business, well, every job matters, right? You don't want any person searches for your brand, but instead of your own website, the ads for competitors' website show up and you lose a potential customer. The second reason is performance max. This type of campaign is easy to set up and advertisers don't even need to add any keywords to that. A user searches for your brand name and then the performance max campaign that your competitor is running assumes that this specific user can be a potential customer for them too. So it shows their ad on your brand name query. So in either case, in my opinion, it would be wise that you allocate a small budget on your brand name to reduce the risk of losing potential customers that are searching for you. Now, let's review some possible scenarios for how you can set the bidding strategy to bid on your brand keywords. Target impression share. Probably the most likely use case for target impression share bidding strategy is to use it for your brand campaign. With this bid strategy, you can choose your ad to show on the absolute top of search results page, which means first position, 100% of time. You also need to set a maximum CPC limit for your bid. Google won't bid any higher than that max bid for your keywords in ad auction. This strategy doesn't mean that your ad will show at the first position all the time but there is a good chance that it will show at the very top most of the time. The downside with this bid strategy for brand campaign is that your average CPC becomes more expensive than what it should be. It somehow guarantees the highest number of impressions for your keywords, but at a higher cost per click. Target CPA Target CPA is one of the smart bidding strategies in Google Ads that is very popular for both brand and non-brand keywords. You set a target cost per acquisition and Google will work to achieve that target for your campaign. Because normally you have a higher quality score than competitors for your brand keywords, Google will be able to achieve a reasonable CPA for your brand campaign. While this strategy might get you less impressions compared to target impression share, but my experience says that you won't lose on clicks and conversions. So from target CPA, you can expect to get a similar number of conversions compared to target impression share, but at lower cost per click. Manual CPC while manual CPC bidding strategy has somehow become obsolete in Google Ads, but it still can be an option to use for brand keywords. Some advertisers, especially if their brand keywords does not have a very high search volume, prefer to set a manual CPC for their brand keywords to achieve the lowest possible cost per click. Maximize clicks. Maximize clicks can be similar to target impression share. While here the objective is not to appear at the very first position of search results all the time, it can bring you as many clicks as possible. The objective from running search ads generally is not to get clicks, but to get conversions and revenue. But for your brand keywords, it can make sense that you want people to click on your ad and visit your website instead of clicking on competitor's ad. With all these bidding options for brand keywords, is there an absolute winner that you can choose? The answer is similar to most of other questions in PPC. It requires testing and experiment to find the most efficient bidding strategy for your brand campaign. Depending on how big or small your brand is, and factors such as competitors and industry, the best bid strategy for a brand campaign can be different from account to account. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you.